I really like the, um, the delicate hand with the moon, with the full moon in the hand. Douceur de plantitude à l'huile d'onagre bio. Okay, onagre, I guess it's the flower. Isn't that sweet? They just fit in nicely. My little box before I get into the unboxing and have a look at this cover. I'm just going to spend a few minutes making some sleepy cardboard sounds. If you prefer just to skip ahead, feel free. Timestamps are down below if you just want to see what. Otherwise, enjoy the sleepy cardboard sounds. Nouvelle lune, new moon. It's really cute. So 
actually looking a little odd to me. But I like it still. like a burgundy brown color and drawn moons and suns and things. These look like very 90s suns to me. <laughs> yeah, the moon, the full moon in the hand and some crescent moons and some different stars. It's cute. It's very handy. I wouldn't say it was their most beautiful box, but I like it. Let me just remove this cardboard. Yeah, I like it. I really like the, um, the delicate hand with the moon, with the full moon in the hand. And these remind me of the suns that we would draw in the night. I do like anything to do with the moon, so I think I'm going to enjoy the theme of the box. Okay. So we have an illustration under this pretty ribbon. So the ribbon actually looks a bit like cow print or something. going to be cool for my daughter's collection of hair ribbons for her mannequin. Okay, so dancing in the moonlight, everybody's feeling warm and right. King Harvest. It's from that song. Dancing in the moonlight, everybody's There's no like information on the back or anything, it's just an illustration. I really appreciate these cards, although I rarely keep them, which is a shame, but I've got really like nowhere to put them or anything. But I do appreciate them for the time that I keep them. Okay, so we have a pouch here. Something that is probably definitely full size and a little pyramid box which sometimes they have like accessories and stuff so maybe that's an accessory. Okay, I'm just gonna pop this a little to the side. So, Willida or Velida, 
sometimes they pronounce the W's as B's in uh, France and Germany, I think, too. Um, so, depuis 1921, so since 1921, a hundred years this year. 100% d'origine naturelle, crème de douche, revitalisant. Onagre. I don't know what onagre is, but it is a shower cream, revitalizing shower cream. Douceur de plantitude à l'huile d'onagre bio. Okay, onagre, I guess it's the flower. Um, it's like organic onagre oil. I don't know if that translates into something completely different or it's just something I don't know. Let's have a look in the back. Um, not in English. Onagre, crème de douche revitalisant, tel l'onagre qui ouvre ses pétales à la tombée de la nuit. Okay, so it's a flower that opens its petals um, when night falls. Beauté inattendue will make you live um, a moment of beauty, I guess. Son précieux parfum aïe la fraîcheur de cardamome cardamome et les notes fleuries du magnolia. So magnolia and cardamom. Okay. I'm just gonna smell it to see what it's all about. Okay, so it's just a white shower cream. Okay, so it's kind of floral and a bit citrusy too. I am not well versed in scents, as you may know if you follow me already um, and have been watching my videos. So, um, oh, macadamia oil and onagre oil. I don't know what that is. Does anybody know what that is? I'll probably try and translate it while I'm editing. It smells kind of citrusy. I don't know why that is. Sunflower seed oil. Is there anything citrusy in here? Sesame seed oil. Well, it smells pretty nice. I know that Lily Dye is a good brand. They do a lot of like, um, a lot of skincare. I got a few things from them when I was pregnant. I think it's like, they do a lot of like creams for pregnancy and like that sort of thing. I remember that. But they do like massage oils and stuff. That's pretty good. It's a definitely a healthy sized product. Full size. So that's always nice to see. Okay, that's a good start. Let's go for this little pyramid next. So, la pierre philosophale. Is it in English? No, it's in German and French. So, la pierre philo philosophale. Philosophical stone. How does this open? My bad. Oh, that is so cute. Look at that. Does it say? Postille magique. Grey is in grey, maybe. So it's a necklace with a little pendant. I like the chain. Like it's got little notches on it. They're like notches that don't move. That's cute. And then what looks like a little marble. Like a little stone. That is really cute. What does it say about it in here? So laissez votre destin entre les mains de ce médaillon orné d'une pierre au pouvoir ésotérique ésotérique sorry so let I leave your destiny in the hands of this medallion with um whose stone has esoteric powers sa vertu le marbre bleu, une pierre 
d'initiative. So blue marble is initi it's like a stone, an initiative stone. Et tout indique pour vous accompagner dans le changement des saisons et vos prises de décision. So apparently it helps with the changing of the seasons and with making decisions. C'est bénéfique. C'est bénéfique. Force et sérénité. Une fois ce collier porté autour du cou, vous serez fin prête pour le prochain sabbat. I don't know everything in there. Um, it's benefits, strength and serenity. Once this necklace is around your neck, you will be ready for your next sabbat. Maybe like adventure or magical or something. I don't know what the sabbat is. Sabbath? Sunday? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's probably something to do with just like making decisions and like going forward. really really cute I love the style of this I really like the little notches here on the chain okay just pop these a little to the side we have a few more things in here this seems to be where the other two products are gel rose scintille comme s'il avait le Saturday Night Fever mais promis ils font sur votre peau avec beaucoup plus de discrétion, discrétion. appliquez cette crème à 97% naturel en massage sur le corps laissez l'huile de cactus vous assouplir et le non et là pivoine apaisé les peaux échauffées go and shine on so this rose gel um, shines like Saturday night fever but we promise it will melt into your skin with a lot more discretion so apply this 97% natural cream like you massage into the body and skin let the cactus oil soften and the pivoine I don't know what pivoine is let the pivoine soft no, soothe any um, heated skin like or irritated skin Okay, so it is actually pink, so I don't know if it meant rose like the flower rose or rose like pink in French. I think probably just the color. Let me take a little and see. Oh, it does have a cooling effect. It's not an effect that I need right now because <laughs> it's cold and I'm a bit sick. So but I can see how that would be nice it smells really nice really really nice very fresh fresh and citrusy and fruity you know but like still quite subtle although my nose is not working at 100% right now so I couldn't be sure <laughs> but it definitely smells nice okay that's kind of cool I don't know if um Winter is the right time for me to be needing a, a funky fresh gel, but you never know. Why not? Okay, we have a little look. We have a little card with 
my little beauty and it is not this product it's like in there wait it's in there attirer la lumière attract the light okay we have a second my little beauty product i think that's maybe the first time for me so maybe this is like a stick illuminator visage et lèvres highlighter stick face and lips different between like shimmery lips and glossy lips like glossy lips okay but shimmery lips I don't know if that's really a good thing for me anyway yeah they're just talking about like a, a light glow and just like tap in with your fingertips it's going to be a beautiful I don't know if that's like something that I would use a lot of, but it definitely looks alright. It doesn't look like a bad product. And we still have another product, so there's four. So maybe one of these was just an extra. Maybe the funky fresh gel or the illuminator. The illuminator. The highlighter, sorry. Illuminator is in French. Although I think I've heard French people say highlighter too. Okay, go big or go home. Volumizing mascara. What is the brand? Kat Von D Beauty. I thought she sold it, didn't she sell? Kat Von D? And it's now KVD Beauty. I don't know. Well, this one says Kat Von D. Go big or go home. Extreme volume long wear before and after. That's an impressive before and after. There is definitely Photoshop involved. <laughs> I don't know if I'm really like looking for extreme volume in my lashes. I think length and separation. I like I like smooth separated long lashes. I don't really like that sort of clumpy volume um, sort of look. I used to like it when I was younger but now I just want to just have like very defined lashes, you know. Okay, it looks like a tube kind of one. Oh, I like these ones. I don't always like the round mascara tubes. These are quite good for like smaller sizes, like little testers and stuff. Let's have a look at the brush. I have a feeling it's going to be a chunky brush. Yeah, that is like my exact opposite of what I would like from a mascara brush. But I have plenty of friends and relatives that nice chunky mascara so it will not go to waste for sure but I'm sure it's a very good formula though Kat Von D is, is pretty good and well known to be a good brand too and vegan too I don't know it's not written directly on the packaging but I have a feeling that Kat Von D is vegan so there are still two other things in here. One that looks like what looks like a box of cards or something. Looks like 
Le tarot cards. Céleste, le tarot au tirage miracle. 22 cartes divinatoires. Vous n'en aurez nul besoin. Si vous, ici au tarot de Marseille, mais, ça, mais rassurez-vous, pas besoin d'être Madame Irma pour tirer les cartes. Ok, so they're just like some fun tarot cards. Celeste, I guess they're just like some fun little cards that you can play about with. I've never really been into like tarot cards and reading and card readings and that sort of thing. Okay, yeah, I've never really been into like tarot card readings or anything like that. I don't really know much about them. Apparently this is a beginner's sort of thing. It's not like a serious thing. Okay. Oh, that's cute. They have all oh, my little box <laughs> covers on them. That's really cute. Okay, so this is maybe like how to play or how to use the cards. And there's a little Okay, that's really cute. I think I will actually mess around with these. Oh, the hangman, the party. Oh, these look really cute. I'm actually interested in them. I'm definitely going to spend a little time having a look at these and have a look at how it works. Be my initiation into proper tarot cards. And we have one last thing, which is actually quite big. Tombé du ciel, coupelle surnaturel. Coupelle. Does that mean like little, like little dishes or something? Pour passer le pas de la porte, sous de bonne augure, rien de tel que de coupelle prête. This is really cute. It's like a little moon with a little crescent moon beside it. How cute is that? I don't know how practical these will be. Because there's no way my keys are going to fit in either of these dishes. But they are definitely Definitely extremely sweet. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? They just fit in nicely. I could maybe use them as like a dish for my rings or something. That's really sweet. I like that. strange sometimes my little box the actual beauty products are kind of 
put to the side by all the other stuff that's involved in the box, you know. Which, you know, isn't a bad thing. It's kind of like, it's maybe not a bad thing when you get other boxes. Like, I have subscriptions to Blissim and Glossy Box, so I get a lot of little products and stuff, but maybe if this was the only box that I was subscribed to, I might be a little bit like, oh, maybe I would have preferred more products or something, but honestly, I really enjoy the randomness. <laughs> well, I know it's not random. They must put a lot of work into curating these boxes. I don't mean it like random like that. I mean it random for me, like as a someone opening all these little treasures, you know. I guess my little necklace was really cute. I really like that box. What do you guys think? I like it. Product wise, like beauty product wise, my favorite is probably this um, shower cream. It's going to be the one that I'm definitely going to use and enjoy unless my skin reacts badly. But with uh, Velida, I've never had any problems. The mascara will definitely get used by a friend or family member. Highlighter, maybe I'll pass it on to. And the funky fresh gel, I might keep it for when the weather gets a bit hotter. And the necklace is gorgeous, and that's for me. <laughs> Tower cards, I think I'll have a little fun with my daughter playing with them. And the little dishes. Although they're not very practical size-wise, I think they're definitely very cute. And I'm going to try and use them. We'll see. Okay. So, I'm going to leave this video here for this evening. I hope that my voice has not been a distraction. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And that you found it nice. happening.